Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In this case, I'm going to take down Gap Tooth Breach, which is a mine held by the Del Lobo gang. And it's not an easy thing to do. You got to go in. You got to go in smart. You also want to use some health tonics and get yourself ready for the inevitable battle that is coming on. And like I said, you start smart. You move in. You should take it over. And you get yourself some decent treasure. I mean, about five, six different gold nuggets and some other things. Again, you got to start smart. And you start out by surveilling the place. Then you pick your targets and you move in. Okay, now I see the main building, a watchtower, mine shaft actually, and this wagon with a guard. There usually is two guards, so I'm going to see what's going on other than a Chinese ringed neck pheasant. Yeah, this, okay, yeah, we got a guard here. I'm thinking, you know what? I'm just going to go up to the tower area and start from there because coming in the direct route brings in too much fire. Coming in the back way is going to be the best way. And before I do anything, I'm going to make sure I pick the right weapons and I leave my horse far enough behind because I don't want her to get all shot up and damaged. So I'm going to save first. Again, before you do this, save. That way, if you die, you can just go back, reload, start all over again. Now, next is weapons. I'm going to get the Karakow rifle. Well, I'll go with the Springfield semi-automatic and the Karakow rifle. So I've got my two weapons picked out. And, yeah, I got that, and then Litchfield, yeah, Springfield Rifle. And then I'm going to start my attack. I actually chose this high ground next to the tower, so that I have a clean shot of the guard in the tower. And let's see if I can get a good shot here. Yeah, boom. Oh, wait. He gets back up. What the hell? Now he's down. So now I can move down. Guys are shooting at me. I might want to... I'm trying to see if I can up here get any good shots. But I'm getting shot at. God damn it! You'll be tempted to, but do not climb up the tower. Stay on the ground, stay under cover, move your way in toward the center. Now, there's going to be guys coming at you, and the odd part is there's guys in the mine, which confuses things because you'll think, well, there's guys below me or guys around me, and where are they? They aren't. They're in the mine. Just keep your wits about you and look around. Eventually, they will come to you, but stay in cover.
this is where it gets a little confusing because there's guys underground, but you can't tell. And so they look like they're below you and they're getting closer. So I dive for cover here, take a health tonic, and that doesn't do anything to raise my core health. But, yep, there's that guy. And there are a few guys that will attack you, but that was only one. And then there's others they look close by, but in reality, they are in the mine and won't be able to hurt you. Now that I'm in cover, time to boost up the core health a little bit with some uh, beans and whatever I can eat. Yeah, keep some beans and corned beef and whatever food with you. Now I'm going to work my way in and down and see if I can take any more Del Ovo down. Okay, the radar, the X's are above ground, the red dots are Del Lobo in the mine shaft below ground, so I'm not going to have to worry about them. I'm just going to have to work my way through and down toward the guys who are on the surface, but I'm going to be very careful about this. Now, there's a couple guys on the surface still who can shoot at John, but everyone's kind of clustered in toward the mine. I'm going to move toward the main entry and take down those guys. Again, there's a few guys on the surface who are attempting to attack John, but I'm going to move further on. Yeah, see if I'm not going to get shot here. No! 
Hijos del Lobo. My main concern is the ore processing building to the left. The main building is probably clear, but there is the other building that I'm going to move John toward where there is guys shooting at him and I got to keep undercover and dodge those bullets in a sense. Keeping undercover, I'm going to move toward the shaft of the mine and take down the guys within the mine. And I'm going to use the buildings, wagons, whatever I can for cover. not go blindly into the shaft and just start shooting things. My advice, work your way down slowly. Toss some dynamite, firebombs, whatever you can. Try and clear it out 
or get these guys to come after you. You don't want to go into the shaft blindly. They are going to ambush you. They are going to attack you. Slowly work your way down into the mine. Okay, the guys aren't coming out. The fire has burned too long. I'm going to put it out and start working my way down the shaft. You need a handgun or at least the sawed-off shotgun. A rifle isn't going to work very well. Okay, the final guy is dead. Now you can start searching all the Del Lobo and looting them and taking whatever you can from them. The ones in the mine are going to have gold nuggets. The ones on the surface are probably going to have cash and jewelry or just jewelry. Some garbage, yeah, but you know what? You do this right, you can get some decent wealth. And I'm going to fast forward through the looting part a little bit so as to not extend this out extremely long. Now that I'm on the surface, look for an X anywhere on the radar to loot those guys. Now, this is the first guy on the surface. I'm going to loot him. And I'm just going to work my way toward X's. And again, this guy has gold nugget. And search the buildings as well. To be honest with you, there is nothing in the buildings of value. But loot the guys on the surface because they have some decent stuff. Like this guy, he has a gold pocket watch. Hey, that's saleable. And this other guy here, he has another silver pocket watch. Well, and like I said, the buildings on the surface, really, they have nothing. And, yeah, I'm going to fast forward a little bit and then move on in life. Now that I'm in the upper elevation, I can clear out the guys who are dead. And remember, X's are where the bodies are located. The gray X's are the ones you've already searched and they're underground. These guys, they have a little less. It's like, yeah, they're carrying garbage, bitters, cigarettes, you name it. Um, they're getting eaten by vultures. I don't know if vultures are going to strip them of money, but what the heck. And again, these guys, 
they don't have a huge amount. And yeah, open just some basic stuff. I believe I got everyone, and I have all the goods and valuables I can. This is the end of the Gap Tooth Breach Mine being a Del Lobo hideout. Don't know if it's going to repopulate. More than likely it won't. Hopefully it doesn't. It's time for John to move on to bigger and better things. Oh, I got bit by a snake. Damn it. Yeah. Gotta take that health tonic and take down the snake. A little sneaky bastard here. Boom. Okay. Anyway, if you found this video interesting, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, Hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week in relation to video games, plus some shorts and specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.